If you go to a party where alcohol is served, odds are that most of the people imbibing are feeling pretty relaxed. Their behavior is pretty much the same as it would be without the booze. And if they have too much, well, they just want to lie down and fall asleep. But there are probably one or two people at the party who react differently to alcohol. They're the ones whose behavior changes significantly. They become more outgoing, more daring, and sometimes wind up embarrassing themselves. People from both of these groups can become alcoholics, but researchers are finding that some of the biggest differences between them may be in their genes. Now, saying that a disease is genetic, or even that it's largely genetic, does not mean you will get the disease simply because you have the genes. And it doesn't mean that you won't get it if you don't have the genes. It's a matter of relative risk. For alcoholism and other substance use disorders, that increased risk can be considerable. It increases the risk fourfold if you have a family history, for example, a parent who has a substance use disorder. It also looks like several genes or sets of genes are involved in increasing that risk of becoming dependent. And that may be good news, for it helps explain why different treatments work better with some people than with others. It also means that we may soon be able to customize different treatments to people who have different genetic makeups. I'm Dr. Richard Falzone.